was six years old. Uh, he was at a field day at his elementary school and they were doing all kinds of physical activity and we were there cheering him on, telling him to push harder, push harder. We could tell something was wrong and she told us, I'm not worried about the flu, he needs to see a cardiologist. There's something wrong with his heart. And we, so we're thinking, okay, he'll see a cardiologist sometime in the future. And she said, no, today. And within a couple of weeks, he was having surgery for subaortic stenosis. So they monitored him over the next several years. And at age 10, uh, we went back in and they did something called the Ross procedure. I would say a year and a half or so ago, um, I started showing, showing some signs that, um, that at the time I thought were just, you know, just random things. I didn't put two and two together that they were related to my heart and, and the valves. And um, I was feeling dizzy, shortness of breath, things like that. And so I ended up coming to a doctor's appointment here. And uh, sure enough, the doctors here found out that the valve they had replaced when I was younger, my pulmonary valve, they needed to replace again. It was clear that his pulmonary valve needed to be replaced. What was a little less clear was what to do with his aorta. Again, a problem that we're beginning to see some of because of the numbers of patients that have had Ross procedures. So what we did was decide ultimately to re replace his pulmonary valve with a new pulmonary valve and then continue to observe his uh, aortic valve and aortic uh, dilatation for some other time. Congenital heart disease patients, uh, many times, most of them, they feel well. But I think one of the misunderstandings that they could have is that they may feel cured. Our patients need to understand that long-term follow-up is needed because the condition is congenital, meaning that it comes from birth. So sometimes waiting for symptoms could be too late. So what we really want to ask our patients to follow them early on so we make sure that we check the heart that everything is fine. Good job. Nice. I feel so much better now because it's like a complete 180. When they replaced my pulmonary valve that was bad, I mean, it was like, the best way I could describe it is I felt fresh. It's like if you ever feel stress or tense and that, that goes away, that's the feeling I felt. I, I knew immediately when I woke up that I was better. In our program, although we focus a lot in congenital heart disease, we're also changing our paradigm to adult congenital heart wellness, meaning that we want our patients to thrive, so we really want them to get healthier, have healthy weights, eat healthy eating habits if they're struggling with some issues. When you feel like you're the only person in the world to them and that you matter to them, not just the, the patient, but the family as well. And I mean that, you know, it's just, that is overwhelming for me, you know, because he may be 27 years old, but he's my baby that's been through so much and I want somebody that I know really cares.